So the Google I.O. press conference has just wrapped up, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the three Android Wear smartwatches that were announced. Let's get started. <laughs> So the first smartwatch we're going to talk about was actually just announced today and that's the Samsung Gear Live. Now this is basically Samsung's run at Android Wear as they did have other smartwatches and are still selling their other Gear lineup smartwatches. This reminds me more of the Samsung Gear Neo. It's not really premium. It comes in at $200 and you can pre-order it today. As you can see it does have a plastic chassis and a plastic band and it doesn't look like the band is removable. This is definitely going to sit with the lower end Android Wear watches. The LG G Watch is the next smartwatch I wanted to talk about. It was announced a little while back by LG, basically when Android Wear was announced, but it was officially released today and you will be able to get it on the Google Play website for $229 starting today. And this is more of the mid-level Android Wear smartwatch. As you can see, it does have a plastic build and that rubber band. It is pretty thick and you could kind of compare it to the Pebble Steel thickness wise. Again, it's not going to have this premium material as the Pebble Steel. Of course, it is running Android Wear and it is going to be one of the first Android Wear smartwatches out. Does that mean you should buy it? Not necessarily. As I said, it doesn't have that much premium, premium materials being used, but it does look nice. Definitely better than the Galaxy Live and it doesn't cost that much more, so if you do want to get an Android Wear watch now, then this is the one to go with. So when it comes to Android Wear, the first thing people think of is the Moto 360, and it basically stole the show. Sadly, it's only coming out closer to the end of the summer, but good news is it should only cost $250, just a little more than the LG G watch. Now this is by far the most premium watch that they announced. And as you can see, it does have that circular body, and it's the first smartwatch to actually do that. And when you look at the chassis of the device, it is actually made of stainless steel, and the band itself is leather and should be replaceable. As you can tell, there's basically no bezels on this device. There is a little bit on the bottom, but basically what they did is they took all the bezels that should have been around the screen and put it all into that little corner. Now, it's definitely not as big as it looks, and from what I heard, people have been saying that it feels really, really comfortable in the hand. Guys, this is going to be probably the most popular smartwatch of the year. It's going to be up there competing with the iWatch, and I can't wait to get my hands on it when it is actually released. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a quick look at some of the new smartwatches coming out.